Today, I'm taking you on a neighborhood tour of a subdivision called La Barranca. Now, La Barranca is towards Village of Oak Creek, but it's on the outskirts of town. So in the video, I am heading south on the 179, but uh, you would probably be coming north on the 179 and you would head east on Jack's Canyon Drive. Now, Jack's Canyon Drive is on the second roundabout as you're coming into town. Um, it's probably about five minutes off of the Jack's Canyon Drive turnout. You're going to be going East, as I say, you would veer right when you come to Lee Mountain Road, but you're not going to go quite as far as Pine Valley. So what's nice about this neighborhood is you're a little bit out of town. So if you're more into countrified type of living with a bigger lot size, uh, this could be a good place for you. Now, it is a gated community, um, but it's a lovely community. It's beautiful. It took me about three minutes to drive the circle that is La Barranca once I got past the gates to get inside. So a couple things I want to tell you about. First, this is that actually not part of Village of Oak Creek because it's just outside in the unincorporated area, which is kind of funny because Village of Oak Creek is actually the unincorporated part of Sedona, but it's a little bit outside of the village, but it does have its own HOA. So if you're looking for something without an HOA, that's very difficult to find anymore. This one does have an HOA, but not a very expensive one. It's about $325 a quarter for this HOA. Now it does have minimal sized build requirements that are, I'd have to look that up for you but um, mostly big homes going in here. So if you want to put in a 1,200 square foot home, it's probably not going to work in here. It definitely won't work in here. So I'm coming up on a home right now. I'm going to slow down so you can get an idea of the size. But again, you have big, beautiful homes like this one on the left in this neighborhood. Now, there are not a lot of homes for sale in this neighborhood. And when they do come up for sale, they sell very quickly. I don't think there's anything in here for sale right now, but uh, you could buy a vacant lot for sale. So there are two vacant lots for sale. Now this again is March, 2022. So two vacant lots for sale, both listed around $225,000. You can see this one on the left is currently for sale, $225,000. You can see that the land is pretty level, which is nice in Sedona. A lot of times you'll buy a lot and it's on a gigantic slope. This one is pretty level. And the other thing that's nice, it's, it's on almost three quarters of an acre. So nice to get a bigger piece of land. So I'm going to take you now through the rest of the subdivision. What I have noticed is the homes on the west side seem to have a better view because there you can see some of the red rocks of Sedona as um, I'm coming up on it in a minute. You'll be able to see that uh, in the distance. There'd be Lee Mountain and to the left of that courthouse and then Bell Rock, but uh, again, more vacant lots for sale in the neighborhood than there are finished homes, but the finished homes are absolutely beautiful. So take a look at the view in front of me. Um, that's Courthouse Butte right in front, and then you'll see Bell Rock is sticking up there, and then I think that's Castle that you could see in the distance. Now on the right where I'm driving past, uh, there's a construction crew. So I'm going to have to slowly maneuver my way through the construction crew. And they are building a big, beautiful home on the right, which you may not be able to see from my dash can. But there it is, beautiful home going up. Like I say, you have a more likely time finding a vacant lot for sale in the subdivision than a finished home. And another thing, of course, is that uh, finished homes sell much quicker than vacant land. Now, vacant land, even in uh, today's hot market, will take a little longer to sell than a finished home, but they are selling much quicker than they did a few years ago. So I'm about to leave the beautiful La uh, Barranca neighborhood. It seems like whenever I'm doing the dash cam tours, it's early in the morning. And so I apologize that there's a lot of glare. I did cut a little bit out uh, if the glare was too much to take. I'm going to be headed back towards Village of Oak Creek in a second. 
And so you won't be seeing any more glare because I am heading west in the morning when uh, the sun obviously is going to be to the east of me. So the big mailbox cluster on the right I just passed. And here I am approaching the stop sign that will take me back out to Jack's Canyon Road. And then I'm going to head back into town. And when I say into town, that's Village of Oak Creek. So, you know, it's not a big town, um, unincorporated part of Sedona. But look at the amazing views. It's kind of interesting because now you're seeing the Red Rocks from a distance, where as if you're in the um, village itself, like my home, I'm very close to Courthouse Butte, which I can see from my backyard very easily. But here it's nice. You see it from a distance and you get the entire landscape. Uh, I am going back now and approaching the stop sign uh, that will take me back to town. So my name's Dawn Dickinson. If you're more interested in learning about these neighborhoods in Sedona, if you'd like to be put on a list of homes for sale in Sedona or Verde Valley, I always put my contact information below in the video so you could check it out. You can contact me by uh, text, phone call, email, and I will get back to you. I'm not as good as reading comments, so uh, use the contact info below.